Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about using the insert many method. Now the insert many method is familiar to the insert method, but as the name implies, instead of inserting one document at a time, we can insert several documents to the database at once. So to get started, I have this dummy.json file. And this dummy.json file contains an array, and this array contains a bunch of documents of students. So this is all generated data, so this is all fake. And we're going to use this data in later tutorials to actually query the database. But for now, we need to find out how we can insert this data into our database to begin with. Now I will have a link to this dummy.json file so you can follow along. So the first thing we have to do always is run the Mongo shell. Second thing, let's show the DBs. We have our school database that we created. So I'm just going to say use school. I'm going to say show collections. And then you see we have a faculty and students. So what I want to do is get rid of our students collection first because I want to replace it with the dummy data. So I'm going to say db.students.drop. And this is how we can drop a collection. So you can see I entered that command and it hits true. So that means that the student's collection has dropped. So if I say show collections now, you can see we only have faculty. So now I'm going to say db.students to create the student's collection. I'm going to say insert many. And then within here, I could go up to my dummy.json file. I'm going to say control A to select everything. Control C to copy. Go back down here. Control V to paste. And we're just going to end it off with a parentheses. Hit enter. And you can see all our object IDs and these object RDs are our primary keys. So these are all the automatically generated IDs of all the documents we just inserted. It says acknowledge true. That means everything went successful. And you can see that all of our documents have been inserted. Now what this does is by default, insert all the data in the order that it is given. So for example, this student, this document is going to be viewed first. This document is going to be viewed second and etc. So to see this, let's actually print it out onto the console. So I'm just going to say db.students.find. And you can see that it's printed out, but it's a bit messy. So we're going to say db.students.find and we can add another method called pretty. Now this is going to essentially format the data for us so we can read it better. So I'm just going to hit enter. So you can see up here if we go up. You can see that Pedro is our first student and if you go down here Bobita is our second student and if you take a look at our JSON file, Pedro's our first student, and Bobita is our second. So basically, when you use the insert menu, by default, it inserts each of these into their own document. And it also keeps the order of the documents being inserted. And in the upcoming tutorials, what we're actually going to do is learn how to query this data.